Okay, here's number four on the 10 most missed items from the chapter seven through nine exam. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average hourly wage in the United States was $26.84. To confirm this wage, a random sample of 35 hourly workers uh, was selected during the month. The average wage was 25.16. Assume the standard deviation of wages for the country is $4.75. Complete parts A through B. So as always, we'll start with what we know and we'll move from there. So we, we know that there's a claimed mean of 2684. And we know that there is a sample size of 35 hourly workers. And the sample mean, our X bar was 25.16. Now we know a population standard deviation is 4.75. So that's everything we know. So um, we want to make a confidence interval uh, with a 95%. So we know that our alpha is 0 0.05 since it's a 95% confidence interval. Um, okay, so a formula at play here. Is right there, which is our, our sample mean plus the critical Z times the standard error of the mean. Uh, and then the, the sample mean minus the critical Z times the standard error of the mean. So this number right here, our critical Z times standard error of the mean, that's gonna be our margin of error for this problem. So let's find the critical Z. So our critical Z is gonna just be the absolute value of norm dot S dot inverse where the probability is our alpha divided by two. And then our standard error of the mean is just gonna be our standard deviation divided by the square root of N. So if we want, we can find our margin of error, which is just our critical Z times our standard error of the mean. And our upper confidence limit will be the mean, sample mean, plus the margin of error. Our lower confidence limit will be the sample mean minus the margin of error. All right, so our confidence interval wants two decimal places. Uh, so our confidence interval is gonna be 2359 to 26.73. So the Bureau's claim of 26.84 uh, is not in between there, right? It's outside of that. Um, so the results of sample are not consistent with that claim. Our margin of error, well, we already figured it out. If we hadn't, all we would have to do is multiply critical Z times standard error of the mean, but we got it right there is $1.57. And I think that's it for this one. So hopefully that was helpful. And again, good luck on uh, the exam as you do the retake. Well, as well, the rest of this and then the exam as you do the retake.